seven decades, the Devil's Triangle has claimed more than 100 aircraft. But how can a plane just disappear? One answer, the extreme weather conditions. A pilot could take off from a tropical island with crystal blue skies in his forecast. In a matter of hours, we could have a thunderstorm with extreme winds, a very dangerous situation. With these storms come sudden downdrafts, violent winds, and lightning. Is it possible that even though modern aircraft are designed to withstand lightning, storms in the triangle are blasting planes out of the sky? Lightning expert Ed Rupke is about to put this scary idea to the ultimate test. Using a light aircraft and a powerful lightning simulator. What I am concerned about is the extremities of the aircraft, which will receive a majority of the lightning strikes. This plane is similar to the wreck the dive team discovered. Ed undertakes a series of unique experiments to find out why aircraft like this litter the seafloor. Okay, that should do it. This machine stores up electricity from the wall socket and delivers it all at once, creating a powerful artificial lightning strike. When we flip the switch, 2.4 million volts is instantly discharged. The first question the team wants answered is, where will the bolt strike the aircraft? For safety, Ed and his assistant, Dan DeBlois, operate out of an insulated bunker. OK, Dan, I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead. Charging. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Good. Devil's Triangle, part of the Curiosity series, Sunday at 9, following an all-new Mythbusters, only on Discovery.